today I'm going through the Holland and Barrett advent calendar for 2022 and this is all vegan. It had a vegan symbol on the front which is amazing and yeah I'm very excited to test this out. I think I, I didn't get the advent calendar last year but I got a little Christmas vegan gift set from my mum which I thought was really thoughtful and it was a really well curated box. You had a shower gel, a face serum, I think a body lotion and then some food and snacks and yeah and tea. It was just really lovely uh, kind of things I wouldn't normally try out so I think this is going to be a really great mix of stuff as well. Please do thumbs up, subscribe, turn on the notification bell if you enjoy my beauty fashion content. If you'd like to see more product reviews and me going more in depth into the advent calendar and all the products and everything, testing them out, yeah, stay tuned. You want to stay up to date with my channel. I have a lot more beauty content coming up and vegan related content because I'm vegan, spoiler alert. So yeah, let's just get started. So day one, it's got a similar um, design actually to the Look Fantastic calendar. And it looks like there is a lot of full size products. First one is from Vita Skin and it's a vitamin C cleansing balm with kiwi seed oil, marula oil, sweet orange oil. And I'll show you guys what it looks like. So it is quite um, elegant, nice aesthetic packaging. It is a dark brown color, but I just like the design of the bottle. It's something a little different. Almost looks like a hand cream. It is obviously vegan, 99% natural. So it's just a really great sustainable natural cleanser to use. By cleansing balm, I presume it has more of like a gel to oil or gel to water consistency that kind of melts off your makeup. And yeah, can't wait to test it out. I think it's going to be sealed, so I won't be able to tell you the scent. But I, even though it's natural, I do think it will have quite a fruity, zesty scent to it. Day two is a very small little box. And this is from a brand called Fru. I think I might have seen them before. I'm not really sure. And it's their watermelon lip balm. I don't think it will be sealed. So let me... Okay, it just looks like a normal lip balm and I always need more lip balm, so why not test one out for free? And yeah, it's a sustainable brand, cruelty-free, vegan. So hopefully I love it because it's the type of brand I would love to support. They seem a little more of a smaller, less mainstream brand. Um, but yeah, I don't know if it smells overwhelmingly like watermelon. It does have a pleasant scent. Sweet and fruity and a kind of a watermelon scent, but it's not like... I would say probably like the Lush products have a, and the Body Shop probably have a much more potent scent, but it's probably very natural. So excited to test that out. Also, I haven't told you guys the price yet. I didn't pay for this. I got it as a gift from my mum for like an early Christmas gift and also for filming purposes. So I'm, I will put the price on the screen here while I'm editing. I'll try and remember that. But I don't imagine it's particularly expensive. My guess is going to be either 45 pounds or maybe 60 pounds. I really don't think it would go for higher than that. So here I got a soap. I always need more soap because I use it instead of shower gel and yeah, I just find it more sustainable. I have beautiful soap dishes on display. So yeah, I just prefer using that. So always happy to stock up on more. And the packaging is really, really cute. It's called Pure Olive, Pure Olive Oil Soap. And I think the brand is Oliva. Oliver. Oh, oh no, okay, gonna have to be careful. Some of the um, soap has kind of disintegrated a tiny bit, but I'm not sure, I guess olive oil doesn't have much of a scent, but it does smell very natural and light. Um, doesn't really have much of a scent, it kind of just smells like soap. Um, I'm not like the perfumed, like linen type of scent with soap. I mean, literal just soap. Um, but it is cute, it's a, yeah, just a standard soap bar, but it seems really natural. And let me see what else they say. From pure unrefined olive oil, kind and gentle to skin, not tested on animals. Yeah, and it's got all, only like four ingredients, so it does seem, I'm gonna say the word again, very natural. A4 looks a little bigger this time. And oh, this is really pretty, I don't know what it is. Pip and Pod. Really cute brand, nice um, packaging. Okay, face scrub. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use this because I don't like physical exfoliants, but it is the Dragon Fruit Face Scrub, energizing face scrub, light exfoliation from waste kiwi seeds. Vegan and cruelty free, so fantastic brand, really gorgeous packaging. Superfood skincare at its best. So 
and let me show you guys what it looks like. Very cute packaging. It kind of reminds me a little bit of maybe Drunk Elephant. I'm getting those kind of vibes. Actually, I can smell a little bit of the fruit in there. So yeah, as they said, it is natural and um, yeah, kiwi seed extract. So you have to smell a little bit of kiwi, like a little bit of like that sweet zesty scent. It kind of makes me want to use it now, I'm not gonna lie. I'll have to think, I'll have a think about it. Not sure yet how I feel about physical exfoliants, if I would even go back to it. So day five looks to be, a lot of these are full size, which is very impressive. This I'm not sure, oh, okay. I always need more of these, this is good. good. Magnetone bamboo swipes. So I believe it's just like facial pads. I'm not sure why it says swipes, but it's an eco-friendly microfiber makeup removal pad. I always need more of this. They said you literally just um, wet it um, under the sink and then, or wet it with water is what I meant to say, but yeah, you just wet it and then apply it and it kind of is supposed to kind of scrub off your makeup. Not, it looks very, very delicate. I'll try and show you guys. Yeah, I think I can open it here. Um, it looks very delicate. It's not gonna scrub at your face or make it red, but yeah, uh, they're just these really cute little wipes. They look like cleaning wipes, but obviously you just pop them in your washing uh, after you've used them. And yeah, I have tons now, but you know what? If these are specifically for makeup removal, that does seem really good value. Okay, day six. I don't know if this is full size, but it, it looks like it might be. It's from Mia Roma. I don't think I've ever heard of them. Ah, aroma. Okay, so it's going to be like essential oils. It says, oh, that's not even in English. Here it is. Comforting frankincense essential oil. And they are apparently an expertly sourced range of essential oils, aromatherapy products. And this oil is going to help calm a busy mind, deepen comforting aroma to reduce uh, anxiety and tension, which I wish I had this earlier this week. I should have opened it earlier. Had a bit of stress this week, so it would have been useful. So yeah, very cute packaging. And I'm sure you can buy essential oils from so many different brands. You don't need to pay for the name. Um, it's all essentially the same, but I'm glad to test this out. I don't think I have any frankincense and I have been wanting to use more essential oils. Mm. Okay, it's, it's, it, it's actually very similar to lavender. It's very potent. Oh, I can feel the tension leaving my body. It's very potent, so you want to be careful if you're going to apply it anywhere or pop a few drops in a bath. Limit it to just a few drops because, yeah, it's very strong. And I think if you're going to apply it to your body, you need to dilute it first. But yeah, also this packaging is deceiving. I don't know why you need such a massive box, but that's okay. That still looks awesome. Again, not something I would have purchased otherwise. Day seven looks like another oil. Oh, it's from Tisserin, so very relaxing. They're trying to keep us really stress-free this Christmas. It's the Total De-Stress Mood Fix Mist with Pure Essential Oil Blend. And it's got geranium, orange, and nutmeg. What do they say? P -p spray around your space. Right, at the risk of overwhelming myself with these essential oils, I am gonna spray it once to show you guys. See, that's really pleasant. It really reminds me of like a massage parlor. Like sometimes when I've had a massage, I can, yeah, it's a very much like a spa type scent. I guess the orange and geranium kind of has that nice high-end herbal type of scent. But yeah, really, really pleasant. And actually I'm running low on a sleep spray. I use one from This Works. So Tisserand is a great brand, so I can't wait to test that out. Maybe I'll feature it in like a nighttime routine video. Day eight, it does feel like it's more of a small product in here. Oh no, something I think full size. Um, it's an eye serum. I may give this one to my mum because I don't need this, but it's the Dr. Organic Organic Rose Otto Eye Serum for anti or healthy aging. I like that they say healthy aging instead of anti-aging. Hydrating, revitalizing, fragrance free. And yeah, for dry, tired skin, dark circles, fine lines. And they're really obviously a really great organic brand where they are cruelty free. I presume also fully vegan because they're in a vegan calendar. Um, yeah, I never buy them from Holland and Barrett. They're a little pricey. Their products go for a minimum of 10 pounds each up to I think 20. So I just was never really drawn to it, but I'm excited to either test that out or hear my mom's thoughts on that. Day nine is a massive product and it actually fits in. I actually have West Lab um, bath salts that I've never used before. I need to use them. I think the ones that I already bought were lavender. So these, I'm gonna have to get on it. 
because I'm just, I'm just gonna have like a wardrobe filled with bags of bath salts. This is the Mindful range, 100% natural bath salts, frankincense, bergamot, and CBD. That sounds amazing. So it is sealed here, I need to um, cut it open, but again, I'll definitely, the things that I'm keeping for myself, I will be featuring in upcoming videos. And it is cruelty free and vegan with Epsom and Himalayan mineral salts. So I think you either put like a small spoonful or a small handful into your bath under running water. And I think it dissolves in the water to my knowledge and then releases a really nice scent. And I think it's kind of like a muscle relaxant. So yeah, just like relaxes your muscles naturally. And yeah, the CBD as well should be super relaxing. I have everything I, have everything I need for a stressful day. So number 10, it's a little bit smaller to, for this one. And it's another spray, I'm not sure. I th oh, okay, it's a serum. And I think this is more of a sample size. It's only 10 milliliters. It's the Evolve Organic Beauty Hyaluronic Serum 200. I'm not sure why it's 200, but 99% natural origin and also 35% um, organic. So another really high quality ingredients. And yeah, I think it's pretty self-explanatory. You've got a little pump here. So I think I'd use this more so in the morning just to keep my skin moisturized um, and not drying out under makeup or anything, which I had a little bit of today. But yeah, hyaluronic acid is always really great for moisturizing. Day 11 is a massive package here, but it feels really light. So again, the packaging is a bit unnecessary. But we've got um, a brand called So Eco. I don't know if this is the same as Eco Tools. It looks very similar. But either way, I presume it's. I presume this is a sustainable um, eyebrow brush and makeup brush kit. Kit, and then obviously it says brows, so you can use it for the brows. But it's got a really nice tapered brush, so I think it would actually even work for eyeshadow. But yeah, I love a natural makeup brand. Day twelve, another full size product. This looks like a really high quality brand. I've actually never heard of Q&A, so Q plus A. Um, I don't think I have. I've never tried them at the very least, but it's hyaluronic acid daily moisturizer. So if you do have dry skin, you could actually use that hyaluronic acid serum, mix in with this, and it, it says this molecule is a moisture binding ingredient. It helps keep your skin plump and hydrated. And yeah, I presume cruelty free and vegan. Really, really cute, chic packaging as well. Day 13 feels a little heavy. Not sure what this is. Oh, okay, so here's some like of the food. I was looking forward to this. And this one actually looks amazing. It is a vegan gluten-free um, beauty kind of supplement with gummies. It's the Nature's Bounty Beautiful Skin Gummies with Hyaluronic Acid. They are obsessed with this acid. Beauty for beautiful and healthy skin food supplement. I presume you just chew um, one, maybe two gummies a day, and you've got 60, so I reckon it's at least a month or two worth of supply. Chew two gummies a day as an adult with a meal. Okay, I'm definitely gonna try this. I love this kind of stuff, but sometimes I worry it might be a bit gimmicky, and so I just never invest in it myself. Um, I do take supplements every day because my mom's a little bit health crazy, but I've just never thought to really buy it myself. Day 14, we've got a sample here from Urban Vida, which is also what they featured in last year's gift set that I bought from them. It's the Rose and Botanics Reviving Renewal Night Cream. Replenishing Rose, Organic Pomegranate, and Rose Hip. Rose Hip is really great if you have acne prone skin, so highly recommend it. And yeah, cruelty free, vegan, looks fabulous. Although it is a sample size, this should last like at least, at least one month of use. Day 15 looks quite big as well. Oh, okay. Salt of the Earth Unscented Effective Natural Deodorant. It is, um, it's, a, it's in a spray form, I believe. And this is really great. Natural, de natural deodorants can be really amazing. And yes, yeah, there's long lasting protection. They've won awards. No white marks, which is super important. I hate deodorants that do that. So it seems like it's not gonna dry your underarms out, not gonna cause any sensitivity or issues. So yeah, these are also kind of expensive. 16, we've got two packs of products in here. Oh, I do like the brand Athik. I've used them before. They're also sold in boots. This is the, the Guardian Solid Conditioner for normal to dry hair and Pinkalicious Shampoo for normal hair. 
I love these kind of products. I've never tried the conditioner because I always thought, how's that going to work? But I love the shampoos. They love shampoo bars in general. They just lather up amazingly and you're not wasting plastic. Day 17 looks to be another sample size. It is the Nat Nature Tint Hair Food with Goji Berry. It's a revitalizing mask. This looks good. I want to keep it. And it says it's uh, vegan friendly, 99% natural ingredients to add shine to your hair. I totally need that. Not today, my hair looks good today, but generally speaking it does. And it says it's good for normal and color treated hair. This probably doesn't retail for exceptionally high, especially as a sample size, but I love trying out new brands. It might actually work really well. And I do like that they mix, you know, slightly more high end with drugstore level products. Okay, not sure what this is. It looks like a silk, it's this little silk pouch. Um, this is for day 18. It's an eye mask. Oh, it's an eye mask. This is actually so cute. I'm totally keeping this. I love green, emerald. It's my birthstone. I love the Wizard of Oz. It's kind of giving me those vibes. So this is very cute and bougie. It's actually just Holland and Barrett's own brand. So I presume it is not pure silk, but that's okay. It feels really nice. And I feel like it's not going to tug on your skin or your hair. And also this super cute little pouch to keep it in. Day 19 is another sample product. This looks a little strange, like a little sample alcohol, but it's the Fushi Pressed Organic Jojoba Oil for the face. I don't know if you apply this directly. They said, okay, yeah, a few drops um, and you can mix it in with your moisturizer. I might do that where I might just apply one or two drops um, in my T-zone maybe, because I feel like that's where this would benefit the most. But yeah, looks like a great brand, even though it's sample size with oil. Honestly, this could last me a year. Coming up to the end now, we're up to day 20. This is wrapped really, really nicely. I think I know what this is, and it is. it says here, Psychic Sisters London. I don't want to ruin the packaging because I am filming more content with this. Yeah, I thought this was this. And it's, uh, I think it's a rose quartz. Um, gua Sha Tool says, yeah, Gua Sha Facial Wand, Rec reclaim your youth, guys, that's what we're doing here. Psychic Sisters Holistic Facial Wand helps to plump the skin with a radiant, vibrant glow, non-surgical way to reduce wrinkles. So I'll keep this here and I've t I'll test it out. I've never, ever used this before. I always thought they were gimmicky and the like, jade rollers, I've always heard they're a gimmick, but... Gua Sha sounds a little bit more um, authentic. 21 is a little smaller. Yeah, another sample size from a brand called Ayumi. Neem and tea tree face mask. Green clay, witch hazel, moringa, and avocado oil. What a great mix. I, wow, avocado I think is really good for the skin. I think it's supposed to be moisturizing. So it looks like it's going to be high quality. It's obviously vegan, cruelty free. It also contains rosemary, eucalyptus, and peppermint. So if you have sensitive um, or easily irritable skin, just be careful. But yeah, they say just apply it for up to 20 minutes and wash off. I presume it's one of those clay masks that kind of dries and then you can kind of seal all the impurities. 22, looks like a big one. Oh, I think it's a candle, that's nice. Okay, so it has a little bit of packaging here that's um, kind of come apart a little bit. It is the Aroma Works Light Lemongrass and Bergamot Candle, 100% pure essential oils, soy wax candle very cute i have an obsession with candles and this one is perfect for the bathroom when i'm running a bath i think i'm gonna like this that smells amazing or if i have guests coming over it smells like so clean and fresh and kind of like high-end cleaning products now day 23 i think it's a coconut oil it is the vita coco coconut oil organic virgin cold pressed yeah so i guess you can do whatever you want this they don't even say i think Actually, I don't know. Oh yeah, I think I guess it is always edible. It says 100% um, just coconut oil. So you can cook with it if you want, but they said it's multitasking. So obviously you can use it with your hair, you know, beauty treatments, anything. So I'll think about what I want to use it for because I never buy coconut oil. So I'm glad I have that handy if I ever want to do a treatment or even oil pulling. Wow, 24 is very heavy. It's in a really big parcel. Oh wow, okay, so it is a massive full-size 
Faith in Nature Dragon Fruit Body Wash. And let me see if I can, mm. Yeah, it has a very light, clean, fruity scent. It has no SLS or parabens, 99% natural, vegan, cruelty-free, 400 ml. This is gonna last like four bloody months, honestly. It's really good value and massive. I think this would probably retail for like a good seven, eight pounds, maybe even 10 pounds. So you are getting really good value products here. And yeah, I do like this brand. I've only used them once or twice before but I do think they are really high quality and just sustainable overall. Final day 25, looks like another big one, it's finishing on a good note. I'm not sure what this is. Oh, okay, so it's from Wellada, which is, I've seen this in other collections and I've tried their skin food range before. I wasn't blown away, but maybe the, so sorry, my camera's been acting up, so the clips are all over the place at the moment. I keep switching off, stop switching off on me. I'm finishing up. It's got um, a certification from an organization that kind of ensures that they're sourcing their ingredients sustainably. And yeah, it's just a really good brand and it's full size. So you're getting, you know, really high quality product on the last day and it's 200 ml. I don't think it has much of a scent. No, it just smells very light and delicate, quite pleasant. And it's going to nourish and moisturize your body. So yeah, it's just more of like a hydrating lotion and it will be perfect for winter time, you know, December, January. So that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed that little overview. Maybe, you know, you are now inspired to purchase this for yourself or as a gift for somebody else. I highly recommend it. I do think, do think this is really great value because you've got a ton of full size products, really great range of brands. We didn't really have any food, but I, I understand. They probably have like their own kind of food gift set as well. Um, but we did have kind of beauty supplement gummies. So that was a nice surprise. And yeah, really good range of stuff. So do thumbs up, subscribe, turn on the notification bell if you enjoyed. If you'd like to see more beauty content and I'll see you next time. Bye.